ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯತಿ ಹರಿರಚಿತ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೈಕ ವಂದ್ಯ ಪರಮಗುರುರಭೀಷ್ಟಾಪ್ತಿ ಸಜ್ಜನ ನಿಖಿಲ ಗುಣಗಣಾನೋ ನಿತ್ಯನಿರ್ಮುಕ್ತೋಷ ಸರಸಿಜನೈನೋಸೌ ಶ್ರೀಪತಿರ್ಮಾನದೋ ನಃ ಅಪಾದ ಮೌಳಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಗುರುಣಾಕೃತಿ ಸ್ಮರೆತ್ ಯನ ವಿಘ್ನಾ ಪ್ರಣಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಂತಿ ಚ ಮನೋರಥ ಪೂಜ್ಯಾಯ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಾಯ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮರಥಾ ಚ ಭಜತಾ ಕಲ್ಪವೃಕ್ಷಾ ನಮತಾ ಕಾಮಧೇನೇ ಜಲಜೇಷ್ಠ ನಿವಾಕಾರ ಜಗದೀಶ ಪದಾಶ್ರಯ ಜಗತೀತಲ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಗೃಂಭಜೆ ಸತ್ಯಾಭಿಜ್ಞಕರಾಬ್ಜೋತ್ಥಾನ್ ಪಂಚಾಶತ್ ವರ್ಷಪೂರ್ವಕಾನ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಮೋದತೀರ್ಥಾರ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋಮಿ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಸುಧಾರತಾನ್ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಮಧುವಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಓದಿದರೆ ಸವಿ ರುಚಿ ತಿಳಿಯಲು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಿಸಿದರೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿಗೆ ಆಹಾರ ತಿಳಿದಷ್ಟು ಹೃದಯ ಕಮಲ ಅರುಳುತ್ತದೆ ಚಿಂತನ ಮಂಥನ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಭವರೋಗ ಹರ ಮುಕ್ತಿಪ್ರದಾಯಕ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರ ಕೃತಿಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರವೇ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧವಾದದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದದ್ದು ಕೂಡ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರ ಪೂರ್ವಾಶ್ರಮದ ಹೆಸರು ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರವನ್ನು ಅವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಇಳಿ ವಯಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅರವತ್ತೆಂಟನೆಯ ವಯಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತ ಶಕ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಧಾರಗಳಿವೆ ಶ್ರೀ ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಯರು ಅವರ ಕನಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಈ ಒಂದು ಕೃತಿಯನ್ನ ರಚಿಸಲು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆ ನೀಡಿದರು ನಂತರ ಇದನ್ನ ಬರೆದರು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರತೀತಿ ಇದೆ ಸರಳವಾದ ಕನ್ನಡ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಲಲಿತವಾದ ಬಾಮಿನಿ ಷಟ್ಪದಿ ಛಂದಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ದ್ವೈತ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತದ ಸಮಸ್ತ ತತ್ವಗಳನ್ನ ಕ್ರೋಢೀಕರಿಸಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗಳಿಂದ ಉಪಮಾನಗಳಿಂದ ಮನದಟ್ಟಾಗುವ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾವ್ಯಮಯ ಶೈಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಗ್ರಂಥ ರಚನೆಯಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಗ್ರಂಥಕ್ಕೆ ಅನೇಕ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನಗಳು ರಚಿತವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಟಿಪ್ಪಣಿ ಬರೆಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲ್ಪಟ್ಟ ಏಕೈಕ ಕನ್ನಡ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಹೆಗ್ಗಳಿಕೆ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಗ್ರಂಥಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಟ್ಟು ಮೂವತ್ತೆರಡು ಸಂಧಿಗಳಿವೆ ಮೊದಲ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಬಾಮಿನಿ ಷಟ್ಪದಿಯಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಕೊನೆಯದಾಗಿ ಮೂವತ್ತೆರಡನೇ ಸಂಧಿಯಾಗಿ ಶ್ರೀಧ ವಿಠಲ ದಾಸರು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಫಲಸ್ತುತಿಯನ್ನ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಸೇರಿ ಒಟ್ಟು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಷಟ್ಪದಿಗಳು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಂಥಕ್ಕೆ ಅಣು ಸುಧ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಹೆಸರಿದೆ ಅಣು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಚಿಕ್ಕದು ಈ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನ್ಯಾಯಸುಧ ಗ್ರಂಥದ ಒಂದು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ರೂಪವೇ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಇದರ ಒಂದು ವೈಶಿಷ್ಟ್ಯ ಏನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವಾರು ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಡಿ ಹೋಗಿರುವ ವಿಷಯಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೇ ಕಡೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸುಲಭವಾಗಿ ಹಿಂದಿನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಗೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಓದ್ತಿದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆಂಟು ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳು ಓದೋ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಮಗಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಕೊರಗೆ ಬೇಡ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಹೆಸರೇ ಇದು ಹರಿಕಥೆಯ ಅಮೃತದ ಸಾರ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥೆಯನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಅಪಾರ ಕಡಲನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರು ಇದನ್ನ ಒದಗಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕನ್ನಡದ ಒಂದು ಮಹಾಭಾಗ್ಯ ಇದು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸರಾದರೂ ಅವರು ಬರೆದಿರೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಅವರು ಬರೆದಿದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಕನ್ನಡ ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳನ್ನೇ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಧ್ವ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಕ್ಕೊಂದು ವಿದ್ವತ್ಪೂರ್ಣ ಕೈಪಿಡಿ ಅಂತ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಎಚ್ ವಿ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಾವ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮ್ ನಮಗೆ ತಿಳಿದಷ್ಟು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮ್ಸರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಲಿನಿಯೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ್ ದಾಸರು ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ the gandharvas who were uh, uh, the paricharkas of lord brahma called shankukarna and his brother they were cursed uh, uh, to be
then after a gap they again reappear but it's only uh, in both these instances the brothers appeared consecutively during the same timeline but in Kali Yuga there was a uh, there is a gap between when uh, when these uh, reappeared uh, Vasaraja Bandro Vasaraja Riddhaga uh, one of the biggest disciples of Vadaraja Tirtharo was uh, Sakhlada and uh, uh, after Vyasaraja, uh, Raghavendra Swami, uh, when he came back as uh, Raghavendra Tirtha, there was immediately you don't find his brother anywhere recorded. But after 400 years, uh, Jagannath Dasa came as, um, he came back as Jagannath Dasa, as Akhlada. So throughout this uh, Harikatha Amrita Sara, uh, one concept which you cannot miss is most of these uh, instances are related to uh, Prakhlada's time or how the uh, in, in most of the bhakti movement the uh, the benchmark for uh, bhakti is Prahlada. Bhakti maadidare, Prahlada nantirabe kontane, that is the uh, cornerstone. No one can uh, attain the level of bhakti shown by uh, as well as uh, Prahlada. So you can see that Jagannath das, uh, Dasro has completely taken that essence of the bhakti of Prahlada towards Lord Vishnu and uh, uh, you know it, he has concised or he has distilled all those things into this fantastic uh, Mahakavya called Harikatha Mutasara. And uh, when you go through the um, semantics of a Mahakavya, one of the Lakshanas of uh, something to be called as a Mahakavya is to be in a specific format and one of those format or Arankaras are is Bhamini Shatpadi. The reason why he chose Bhamini Shatpadi was not because it's it was exotic but it gives a, a specific meaning and specific uh, word uh, alignment within the um, within uh, what he wanted to convey in uh, very specific way you can you can actually condense a lot of information into just these uh, these lines when it is written in Bhamini Shakpati. So it was it is not an easy task uh, to write in Bhamini Shakpati and you find very little uh, very little of those. The other one which comes to my mind is uh, some of the stanzas by Kanaka Dasa called the Hari Bhakti Sara. He has also uh, in many of the verses in Hari Bhakti Sara is also uh, in Bhamini Shatpadi. So, Harikatha Amrita Sara in every essence is um, is a classical text about Madhva Siddhanta, primarily, you know, extolling the virtues of Lord Vishnu. Hari Sarvottama, Vaiji Vottama, we, we have come to, as being Madhvas, uh, we, we have come to know that, but what is what exactly makes Hari Sarvottama, what exactly makes Vaya Jivottama? All of these concepts have been beautifully captured in uh, in uh, Harikatha Amrita Sara. One of the, uh, one, uh, you know, in Bhagavata there is a saying, when he wrote, when he titled this uh, work, he said Harikatha Amrita Sara. So it could have been just Harikatha and, uh, you know, it, it would have been perfect. But he didn't stop there. He said, Harikatha Amrita Sara. So, Amrita is always, we all already know that it's the nectar which, uh, which will give us, um, you know, in, in a crude sense, uh, longevity or, uh, you know. But it also means moksha. Amrita is nothing but Paramatman Jate to spend all the time in the presence of the Lord is moksha. And then why does this Sara come into place? What is what is the significance of Sara? So there are a lot of commentaries written on Harikatha and out of which Amraparni Acharya, Jagannatha Dasa and Padmanabha Dasa, they have, they have clearly brought it out. In one of the, in Bhagavata, uh, when extolling what exactly is the essence of Bhakti, they, it says that Madhuradapitan Madharam Madharanathasya Namayad Geetam. So when when we when we talk about anything, just talking about we know what is a sweet, 
but you can enhance the sweetness of that it's like adding cashews and uh, you know whatever to the dessert as a topping to make it even more uh, palatable so tamrapani acharya writes beautifully atra vishayo harihi the the only person who is the hero of this hari katha is shri hari atra vishayo harihi katha prayo adra katha katha ke yen prayojana katha prayojana amritameva sambandha andre amritakke sambandha pattira sara adike aa sarakke adhikari yaro so when we say when we write about something uh, the hero uh, of the uh, or the subject of the matter is he has to be the ultimate authority to which uh, it is offered so that is what tamrapani acharya wrote a single line about harikatha sara and as i said earlier as we go through this you can it's unmistakable how much of pralad raja's charitra uh, is embedded into most of these lines uh, within harikatha amrita sara ni helidange madhura madhura ant heldaga nanage dasaru bardira ondo haadu nakka bartade harinama eshtu madhura annake avaru ant heltare ದಿ ಮಧು ದ್ರಾಕ್ಷ ಸುಧರಸಗಳಿಗಿಂತ ಮಧುರವು ಮಧುರ ನಾಥನ ನಾಮ ಅದನ್ನ ಅಕ್ಕ ಬಂತು ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾ ಮತ್ತು ಸರ ಮೂವತ್ತೆರಡು ಸಂಧಿಗಳನ್ನಂತೂ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಗಂಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಇದೊಂದು ಪರಿಚಯ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಧಿಗಳಿಂದ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಅಥವಾ ಎರಡು ಮಾತ್ರ ತಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಪರಿಚಯ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮೊದಲಿಗೆ ಇದರ ಮೊದಲನೆಯದಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಮಂಗಲಾಚರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಗುರುಗಳ ಕರುಣದಿಂದ ಪನಿತು ಪೇಳುವೆ ಪರಮ ಭಗವದ್ ಭಕ್ತರಿದನ ಅದರದಿ ಕೇಳುವುದು ಆದರದಿ ಕೇಳುವುದು ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀರಮಣಿ ಕರಕಮಲ ಪೂಜಿತ ಚಾರು ಚರಣ ಸರೋಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಮೀರ ವಾಣಿ ಫಣೀಂದ್ರ ವೀಂದ್ರ ಭವೇಂದ್ರ ಮುಖ ವಿನುತ ನೀರಜ ಭವಾಂಡೋದಯ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಕಾರಣನೆ ಕೈವಲ್ಯದಾಯಕ ನಾರಸಿಂಹನೆ ನಮಿಪೆ ಕರುಣಿಪುದು ಯಮಗೆ ಮಂಗಳವ ಇದೇ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣದ ಕೊನೆಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಪರಿಮಳವು ಸುಮನದೊಳಗೆ ಅನಲನು ಅರಣಿಯೊಳಗಿಪ್ಪಂತೆ ದಾಮೋದರನು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿಗಳ ಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿ ತೋರದಲೆ ಇರುತಿಹ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ವಿಠಲನ ಕರುಣ ಪಡೆವ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷು ಜೀವರು ಪರಮ ಭಾಗವತರನ್ನು ಕೊಂಡಾಡುವುದು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನವು ಸೊ ದಿ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶ್ರೀರಮಣಿ ಕರಕಮಲ ಪೂಜಿತ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ we always refer to the the feet of uh, lord shri hari as the lotus feet and then when uh, uh, rama devi or lakshmi devi is uh, uh, is tending to the uh, tending to lord vishnu she also has her palms open just like uh, uh, a leaf of uh, of lotus so shri ramani karakamala pujita so on on his feet is already um, a lotus feet and uh, using uh, lotus mudra she is uh, worshiping uh, lord shri hari and then brahma and uh, he, you should also notice the taratamya the one of the key tenets of madha philosophy is the hierarchical standards between uh, uh, lord vishnu and everybody else who comes after him so you can see how clearly uh, the order of uh, uh, of taratamya is here characharana saroja til characharana saroja it is lakshmi devi then brahma samira is vai devu vani vani uh, we have to take both saraswati and bharati devi as vani because saraswati devi is brahma's wife and uh, bharati devi is Uh, why they were uh, why they was wife so yeah, both of them uh, get uh, clubbed into one as vani then phanindra you know shesh devaru 
Vindra is Garuda, Bhavendra, our uh, uh, king of the gods, which is Indra, and all of them, what are they, what are they extolling about is Niraja Bhavando Nayasthiti Karani. So he is the entire controller of the uh, of the entire universe. So in Madhva, you can relate this back to uh, Madhvacharya's uh, Dwajash Stotra. In one of the uh, uh, stotras, you, you, we know, uh, we, are, we usually recite that Yasya Apanga Lavamatra Urjitasa. So, Lakshmi Devi is at, at a such high position that it is not, she just need not think the, uh, the, la the, eye, the last eyelash of her left side eye, if she were to just, you know, shake it, then she would be able to easily um, create thousands of uh, uh, pralaya in this world. But not that she has the power, but she has a, She doesn't do that. We have not seen that uh, she uh, she does that because she has no uh, command from the uh, from Sri Hari to do that. But we know that Madhvacharya says yasya apanga lavamatra urjitasa, and that. Yatkataksha uh, Balavati. The reason why she is so powerful is because she is Ajitam Namami. She Yatkataksha, who, from whose grace she got all this power is Ajitam Namami. We will always pray to Lord Vishnu who has, uh, who has, um, who has given that to, uh, to Lord Lakshmi. And then uh, uh, the other thing which is very clearly evident here is Jagannath Dasaru says that the only way to this is through a guru. The first thing we have to do uh, uh, to attain the correct path of learning is to identify um, a guru. We need a guru. Uh, I mean, we can study, we can Google, we have our documents. I mean, nothing prevents that. But our first step should be to identify a guru, learn from him. Shravana, we should, we should listen to what our guru has said then we have to do the manana, then nididhyasana. So, all of these are purakas for, uh, for our uh, um, paths towards uh, moksha sadhana. So, uh, you know, in Vaisthiti we say, Mukunda bhakti guru bhakti jaye satam prasakti janirantaraye. So, again the guru, the importance of guru comes there. You know, uh, sometimes we say that uh, the humbleness is like, Raja Seva Kori Vanta, um, there, there is a commentary on it. That means we all, when in general, in um, in a human life, there is, it's a give and take relationship. When, when I join a company, a company expects me to work and I expect something back from uh, my company because I've been doing their work. So it's a, uh, it's a Anyonya Sambandha. So he expects something and I give him back something. But after a while, what happens is you become uh, uh, you become so accustomed to this uh, arrangement that when you go to work, you don't think about what you are going to get. So, uh, just like Raja Seva Kariva, the, the meaning of that is when a Raja employs uh, somebody to for his uh, uh, to be at his palace or to be to be with him. The initial, after the initial expectation is over, the uh, um, you know uh, that person just does uh, the uh, Raja Seva as he is supposed to do. He has that built into his mind. So in the same way, uh, you know, Shravanam Mananam Chaiva, Dhyanam Bhakti Tathaiva Cha, Sadhanam Janma Sampatta Pradhanam Nanya Adishkrita. In the Bhashya, it clearly says these are the orders in which you have to you have to do that. Iga yeradane sandhi, idu karuna sandhi. I karuna sandhi indre devra karuna ya namma mele haridanta vando apurva anubhava korte. Idrali na vo iga agle vidya bhushanaro hardi dana bahala prasiddha ma madira i vando charana harta idine. Harder than La, Ilrugata Linta, Vota Dinana Malagi Parama the Radi Pardalu Kulitu Teluva Kulitu Pardalu Niluva Nintare Naliva Nali the Re, Valive, Nimagemba 
ಸುಲಭನೋ ಹರಿ ತನ್ನವರನು ಅರಗಳಿಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟಗಲನು ರಮಾಧವನ ಒಲಿಸಲು ಅರಿಯದೆ ಪಾಮರರು ಬಳಲುವರು ಭವದೊಳಗೆ ಜನನಿಯನು ಕಾಣದಿಹ ಬಾಲಕ ನೆನೆ ನೆನೆದು ಹಲುಬುತ್ತಿರೆ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಮನೆಯೊಳಗೆ ಅಡಗಿ ಅಡಗಿದ್ದು ಅವನ ನೋಡುತ್ತ ನಗುತ್ತ ಹರುಷದಲ್ಲಿ ತನಯನಂ ಬಿಗಿದಪ್ಪಿ ರಂಭಿಸಿ ಕನಲಿಕೆಯ ಕಳೆವಂತೆ ಮದಸುವುದನನು ತನ್ನವರಿದ್ದೆಡೆಗೆ ಬಂದೊದಗಿ ಸಲಹುವನು ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ದಿ ದಿ ವೇ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ used uh, or uh, used to pray to lord vishnu is uh, is evident here he he thought of shri hari in every possible time maybe he was uh, sitting on the lap of his mother maybe he was uh, he was at school maybe he was walking towards school maybe he was walking back towards his school always one thing pahalada never failed to do was uh, hari nama chintane everywhere he went he that is what he did so in, if we take the uh, example listed in the uh, bhagavata 7th canto so it says of uh, pralada asinaha paryatan so whatever he did wherever he went it his he used to always chant about shri hari shri hari shri hari and again so again if you go to uh, naradiya purana uh, it says shayane hari chintayate varaha ಕೀರ್ತನಾ ದೇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ಬಂದ ಪರಂ ರಜೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಿಂಸಲ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗೀತ ಅನನ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಿಂತೆಯನ್ ತೋ ಮಾಂ ಕೇಜನ ಪರಿಪಾಸತೆ ತಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯಭಿಯುಕ್ತ ಯೋಗಕ್ಷೇಮ ವಹಾಮ್ಯ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಕೀ ಇಸ್ ಅನನ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಿಂತೆಯನ್ ತೋ ಮಾಂ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಟ್ ಅನನ್ಯಾಶ್ಚ but for hari just thinking about him is not enough it has to be absolute ananyas chintayin toma because there has to be no other things which would be adulterating our thought when we think about uh, hari vai guru it is always it has to be ananyas chintayin it is paramatma's way or no other way that is there is no deviation from that root so if both of these in the end, in the in the uh, in the verse or the uh, stanzas we read uh, we read about what it what it exemplary it states without any doubt is unadulterated bhakti towards uh, lord vishnu uh, it is at every step of the way just like prala we know we can't there is no way we can reach the level of bhakti of prala it's it's impossible however we can, we can follow we can try to follow as much as possible we may be we may be playing something we may be uh, we may be working on something we may be you know doing anything in our daily lives which is uh, as a regular thing but then whenever you have that microsecond of time think about hari that itself will take you so even in ramayana well uh, while uh, 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 everything was being written finally in ramayana's uh, one of the uh, commentaries it says that in kaliyuga there may not be any opportunity to sit for some time and then uh, do uh, rituals at that time don't at least the minimum thing you can do is rama there is no one i cannot take an excuse saying that i am so busy that i don't have time to even say rama because it that rama shabda not only you know just saying that shabda rama it 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 it, uh, it kind of uh, gives you a some kind some sort of peace and ethereal understanding about how how clean how pure is lord vishnu and how pure should be our bhakti towards him vyapti sandhi purusha roopa traya puratana ಪುರುಷ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಕ್ಷರಾಕ್ಷರ ಪುರುಷ ಪೂಜಿತ ಪಾದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪುರುಷ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಸುಮೇಯ ತತ್ತತ್ ಪುರುಷ ಹೃತ್ಪುಷ್ಕರ ನಿಲಯ ಮಹಾ 
ಪುರುಷ ಜಾಂಡ ಅಂತರದಿ ಬಹಿರದಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ನಿರ್ಲಿಪ್ತ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಡಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ನೀಡಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಓಡಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಆಡಿದರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತಿಹನು ಬಲ್ಲಿದರಿ ಗತಿ ಬಲ್ಲಿದನು ಸರಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇವಗಾವಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಲು ಕೊಲ್ಲ ಮಾನವರಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ರತಿಮಲ್ಲ ಜಗಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಎವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪುರುಷ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಐ ಬಿನ್ ಎನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಮತ್ತು ಸಾರ್ ಆದಿ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರು ಈಸ್ ಎಂಫಸೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ವಾಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಿಷ್ಕಳಂಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಲಿತ ಹಿ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ವಾಕ್ ಅವೇ ಆರ್ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ನೆವರ್ ಈವನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಪುರುಷ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಇನ್ನೋ ಏಕೋ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಆಸನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನ ಚ ಶಂಕರ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಬಿಕಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಡೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ವೇ ಟು ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಅಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಯಾಥ್ ಟು ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ತತ್ವ ನಿರ್ಣಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಅಕ್ಷರ ದೇಹತ್ವ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಪಾ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಪಾತ್ರ ಹರಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ನೋ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ಡೇ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸುಂದರ್ ಮಡಕ್ಷರ Uh, he was uh, you know he he had a slide which said every syllable every alphabet in this world everything always refers to lord vishnu that is exactly what is uh, also said in this uh, vishnu tattva nirnaya then we have the shruti antar bahicha satsarvam vyapya narayana sthitah it came maybe inside it maybe outside it maybe uh, in the sky it, anywhere you go antar bahicha satsarvam everywhere you go only narayana is vyapya he is there everywhere you cannot there is not a place in this universe which is where narayana or uh, vishnu is not there so our bhakti towards nara and it makes it easy for us because all we have to realize is it doesn't matter what direction we have we sit and pray it doesn't matter what um, what things we are doing uh, we have to pray so we may be sleeping we may be playing we may be doing anything in this material world but always in the back of the mind have vishnu in your heart and that is the path towards uh, mukti and that is that is the kind of bhakti you need to have uh, uh, to go ahead and all of this there are a lot of a lot of gurus in this world right uh, right from uh, long time but the buck stops with madhvacharya if you see there has been no other religion uh, per se after madhvacharya all other religions came came and went but the religion stopped at madhvacharya ella matagalu band mele konege ulkondirudu madhvamatane madhvamata ad mele yavade matacharya barade of course there have been these demi gods or uh, godmen or whatever but they never they they never um propounded a theory they never were able to convince people that their way is the correct way acharya madhvaru madhvash madhva shastra bardo adanna pratipadane madid mele you don't see anybody else who uh, who have come forward to lay their own uh, way of thinking or i should say vedic way of thinking to say okay this is a new religion and which which came after ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳಿದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಹರಿ ಈ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪದ್ಯ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುರಂದರದಾಸರ ಪ್ರಖ್ಯಾತ ದೇವರ ನಾಮನೇ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದರಲ್ಲಿ ತಾನಿಲ್ಲದಿಲ್ಲವೆಂದು ಬಲ್ಲ ಜಾಣರೆ 
ಪಿಳ್ಳಂಗೋಳಿಯ ಚೆಲ್ವ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ ಈ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥದಾಸರು ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಪುರಂದರದಾಸರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ತು ಇದೊಂದು ಈಗ ಮುಂದಿನ ಸಂಧಿ ಭೋಜನ ರಸ ವಿಭಾಗ ಸಂಧಿ ವಾಸುದೇವನು ಒಳ ಹೊರಗೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಕೊಡುವ ನಭಸ್ಥನಾಗಿ ರಮಾ ಸಮೇತ ವಿಹಾರ ಮಾಲ್ಪನು ಪಂಚರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸರೋರುಹ ಸಂಭವಾಭವ ವಾಸವಾದ್ಯಮರಾದಿ ಚೇತನ ರಾಶಿಯೊಳಗೆ ಹನೆಂದು ಅರಿತವನವನೇ ಕೋವಿದನ ಸೊ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಫುಡ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಅಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಅ ಪೂಜಾ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ there are lot of bhagavad rupas we need to instill in ourselves and uh, um, and try to uh, try to understand uh, uh, which bhagavad rupa i need to um, concentrate on during uh, you know while eating so vasudeva is the uh, is our annadanta so all of us uh, are um, you know we always uh, even um, even people who are not of uh, any philosophical thing they after having a very good meal they will say annadata sukhi bhava so the the concept is lost there when people just say annadata sukhi bhava it does not mean annadata sukhi bhava in a literal sense would mean oh uh, the, the person who has fed me uh, you be happy no it doesn't mean that annadata sukhi bhava means it's not annadata vasudeva bhava sukhi what it means is you should not be uh, taken in a direct sense you should not make a literal translation of annadata sukhi bhava annadata he i can be a annadata only if lord vishnu gives me uh, the the strength and wealth or whatever it is to give to feed uh, somebody else a lot of times we may not even have enough to feed ourselves so annadata sukhi bhava is should not be read literally it should always be annadata bhava sukhi annadata vasudeva bhava neenu sukhi you are always uh, the, always sukhi you don't have any uh, any impurities at all uh, same thing happen uh, is also madhvacharya says in dwaja stotra vasudeva parimeya sudhaman shuddha shudhodita sundari kanta so you know whenever the nevedya is being done to the lord we always recite several of these tadashtras and especially those uh, which extol the virtues of vasudeva namak paramatma is related to food so this is what madhvacharya is also saying vasudeva parimeya sudham he how is my vasudeva he is shuddha he is absolutely pure there is no there is not a speck uh on himself for, for us to you know say that, oh, okay you have you have something here no he is he is absolute he is uh, he is absolutely shuddha na white as white mundina sandhi vibhuti sandhi karana niyamakanu taanupakarana dole 52014 adika shatarupangalane dharisi irutihanu tadrupa namagalaritu ಪೂಜಿಸುತಿ ಹರ ಪೂಜೆಯ ನಿರುತ ಕೈಗೊಂಬನು ತೃಷಾರ್ಥನು ಜಲವ ಕೊಂಬಂತೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸಂಧಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಸದಾರ್ಯ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ರೂಪ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಭೂತಿ ರೂಪ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಹೌ what vibhuti is we got to uh, vibhuti rupa is nothing but an extension of uh, of lord vishnu so here you know when we when we do a puja we we have one we should have ichha that is our motivation to do it i we need a catalyst and then we need the prakriya or the same thing called as upakarana in this upakarana is myself and uh, you know uh, the actions of what i do in the puja so this upakarana upakarana uh, is 
how you should do prakarnas is how many rupas are you work together for you to be able to do uh, Vishnu Puja. So if you take uh, if you take the, here he says Karana Dolage Ayuvat Terado Sa Virada Adinalku Adhika Shata Rupa Gado. That means 52,114 rupas uh, in, in total. So it, for a normal uh, earthly human being uh, of uh, our low taratamya, it is not possible, right? But then, but we need to understand how many, what are the upakarana. So, if you take the word upakarana, and if you uh, if you take the numbers of them, like who is uh, aai who, that is the fourth character. Pa is Papa Baba Ma, the first character, then Ka, Kaka Gangana is the first character, and then Na is, uh, Na, Na is the fifth character. So if you see, that will line up to 41125, right? And then, but if you read it back, it is 52114. So you, you can see, the, we have to have a clear understanding of all of the Bhagavad Rupas. Which uh, uh, which go into uh, which go in, uh, when we when you do a puja or when you do a it may be a namaskara every uh, every time you think about him you have to make uh, uh, you have to be aware that there are many rupas uh, we are supposed we are, um, to worship Lord Vishnu it's you know just like a very thirsty person goes and grabs a Okay. Glass of water, right? So the moment, so on in his mind, he is thinking about three things. One, he is thirsty. The other one is his water, and he knows that water is what will uh, rid him of his thirst. But then he cannot just take the water. He needs a container for that water. So all of these upakaranas, each one, these are just these are very you know stula meanings. Uh, I'm trying to be too literal, but the whole point of this is Mahavishnu has every we already have said that everything is Paramatma, but still Paramatma Rupa Gulu Nanta Nanta. Literally, Kalu uh, Rupa Gulu Namge, we need them for the worshipping. We need to take the clear path towards Bhakti. We need to know most of these uh, Bhagavad Rupas. Munde, Pancham has eggness and the Hokta Devi Nera do lipano Krishna Rupadi Jala do lipano Hari and Isi Shiki Olage Ipano Parishu Rama Nupendra Nindenisi Yella rolipa Janarda Nano Ban Dola Dola Chuta Ganda Narahari Poleva Dokshaja Rasa Galolo Rasa Rupa Tanagi Sarva Pratika Sandhi, Hattanedidu Ava Parabamanati, Vimalang, Gava Badaru, Yendenipa, Rajiva Bava, Madalada Ramararanu, Dinadi Haripadava, Sevi Pariganukula Ralla de Tavu Yuvarana, Kedisabala Re, Sri Vilasas Padana Dasari Gunte, Apajayo, Sri the Nangri Saroja Yugale, Kadeshasta, Natma Dolagit, Tadaradi. Santo Tisuva Varige, E. Navagrahavu Adi Teyaru, Santa Kadu Vyadigala, Pariharisuta, Avaranu Kadu Kondiharella Randagi, E. Shanadnail. So, so in, the, in the first one, Ava Parabama Natevimala. So, even Lord Brahma is bound by, uh, by his duties towards Lord Vishnu. In Bhagavata Tatma Bhagavata Tatpara Nirnaya, it's it's there, right? Tesham Dukadikam Kinchit Asara Veshto Bhave. So there is the the question comes here is if all we do uh, we pray uh, um, to, to the Lord in so much bhakti, then there is there is a concept that then why do we suffer? Uh, we always say that uh, I did so many, so much of prayer, to, uh, prayer, but never uh, nothing happened to me. Uh, but uh, but that doesn't mean that we should stop 
uh, stop doing it. In in one of the uh, commentaries on Mahabharata, uh, the commentary is this way. So Pandavas, till such time uh, Mahayuddha happened, uh, they always were in some sort of suffering. They went for 14 years, they were in a, uh, in a place which was set on fire. So they were always on the wrong side. So, but all of the time Lord Krishna was there with them. So then if Lord Krishna, who is the, uh, uh, you know, uh, who is the epitome of everything, who is Lord Vishnu, then why, why did they have to suffer? What it means in general terms is, if you take away the uh, uh, the devatas out of the equation and take real life, what it means is, the, they, when we are trying to go towards the path of bhakti, towards the Lord, we come across a lot of hurdles. Each of these hurdles, what we have to think is, every time, Every time I fall down, hurt myself and cry out uh, in pain, that means some part of my bad being inside my soul is getting punished by the Lord. And, and we, have to, we have to take it that way to make sure that we do not divulge away from the path of bhakti. So there, there, when, we, when we are um, uh, praying to the Lord, the expectation is not getting something immediately in return. We are thinking about a long-term planning, you know, it's like, it's like long-term investment. You don't get returns every day. You don't chart uh, the stock uh, with, the, uh, with the bhakti. It's always a long-term undertaking. But when, when we do bhakti, when we want to go towards mukti, and we, uh, the only way we can achieve that is through long-term patient bhakti and Un, um, you know, uh, unadulterated bhakti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in uh, in one of the, uh, if you uh, were to look at the astrological text, it says, Dvadashashtam, Dvadashashtama janmastha shani angarako guruhu kurvanti pana sandeham sthanam prashtam uh, dhanakshaya. Right? So, this is so, if you go to, uh, for the astrologically minded uh, people who depend everything uh, for astrological text, the moment they say that, okay, you, uh, Shani is in your 12th house, so you are going to have Stana, uh, stana Nasha or uh, Angarka is in your uh, 12th house, so you lose a lot of money. So, these are astrological texts, but what does it mean for people who are completely dependent on Vishya Bhakti. This means that all of Shani, uh, Angaraka, Guru, all these Graha Guru, Grahas are no, nothing but servants of Lord Vishnu. They will not do any bad things. They don't need to do any bad things for people who follow Vishnu with complete Bhakti. They can only do good to them because there is a commandment from Lord Vishnu that leave my Bhaktas alone. You know, do whatever you want to people who are either acting like they are uh, worshipping me, but people who are truly my followers, just leave them alone. So, what does leave them alone mean? That means, whatever is the bad one which um, Ashtama Shani or, you know, all this Shani Kata, Shani Dosha or Graha Dosha, whatever Doshas, because of planetary movements happen, they don't actually give us bad results because we are on the path of bhakti towards Vishnu and because we are uh, uh, on the path of Vishnu, they all take a back seat and they can only give us good stuff. So, you know, there is a, there is a very popular uh, Devarnama too, right? Sakala Graha Balanine, Sarasi Jaksha, Ravichandra Budanine, Yellanonine and Tartara Graha Gargan. When Purandarasa says Sakala Graha Balanine Sarasi Jaksha, that means all planetary emotions. It doesn't matter whether they are in the ninth house or eighth house or twelfth house. But again, at the, at the same uh, in the same vein, it doesn't mean that astrological texts are wrong. Astrological texts are a guidance of heart. because of this planetary movement, you may be uh, you may come into this hardship. So what should I do? 
go back to the Lord and pray uh, to Lord Vishnu to say that I have probably a Shani affliction, so please uh, take me away from this affliction and make sure that Lord Shani doesn't uh, affect me uh, in a way that I cannot do your puja. But if, if you were to go to uh, a path saying that, okay, from today, my Shani Dasha starts, so all I'm going to do is light uh, a lamp in front of uh, Devru and all my uh, all my worries will be gone. It, it may work, it may not work. The odds of them not working will be more because we are going there with 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 um, with a condition. I'm going to do this, so you give this back to me. It doesn't work that way. Bhakti is always towards. They don't say bhakti uh, come to me. It's bhakti is always towards someone. It is always it has to be directed towards a person opposite to you. And in this case, it has always to be Hari Vaya Guru Gala. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That's fine. Nadi Prakarana Sandhi Bruhati Namaka Vasu Devanu Vahisi Stri Purushagala Dosha Virahita Yappat Teradu Savira Nadi Galola Gittu Druhina Madala Damaragana San Mahita Sarva Pranigala Mahamahima Santai Suvanu Santata Paramakarunad. In uh, all of these, so just like Vasudeva uh, is uh, um, controls, um, is the uh, Rupa for our food, he is also one of the main uh, controllers of our nervous, nervous system in our body. So, Brati Chandra says, uh, Vasudeva Kana Paramatma is controls 72,000 nerve endings in a human body. So, in a, a human body can be split into two parts. Uh, one is uh, uh, a male and the other is female. So, we have 36,000 male and 36,000 uh, female nerve endings in our body. And each of these are, are controlled by everything like Vasudeva Paramatma, Vasudeva Rupi Paramatma is the one who, who controls all this. So this is what we need. Our, we all have heard, right? We, uh, it's a common saying that your body is a temple. And that is not, that is not uh, uh, an overstatement. It is because Devru in Nana Rupa Guru, he stays in our body. Each part of our body is an extension of, uh, of Paramatma. So we have to uh, protect it and we have to understand that every being of myself is Vasudeva, Parama, Vasudeva Rupi Paramatma uh, doing it. Namasmarana Sandhi Makkaladi Suvaga Madadi Yolu Akkaradi Nali Vaga Haya Pallatki Gaja Madalada Vahana Galeri Merevaga Bikku Vaga Akalisutali Deva Kitanayana Neneyutiha Nara Sikkanu Yamadhuta Rige Avavalli Nodidaru. So the interesting uh, thing about this is in uh, if you if you take the case of uh, of uh, uh, Garuda Purana Putra Dinam Chumbane Chaiva Kale Kale Savenu Hastam Smaret Krishna Meva Andre when in Garuda Purana also it says, so it, you can see that how much of Purana, uh, Puranas have been brought into this small text. Asina samvishan tishtan bhujannaha pariyatan pipan chintayo rishikesham apashyan tanmayam jagat, which is from the 10th canto of Bhagavata. So everywhere you see what they are trying to convey is Bhakti has no, uh, has, uh, uh, is not restricted by a place our time. It's all in our in mind. Every single uh, time in your day, you have to have somewhere in the back of your mind, the thought about Vishnu. Paramatmana Bhagya, you should always have some some kind of thought. Never forget uh, the uh, Lord Vishnu is there somewhere here and he is always protected. It should always be on our path of our mind. We keep thinking about uh, Shri Harivai Guru Guru all the time. Swasa Sandhi, Idu Bahala Mahatva Purana Sandhi, 
ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಕೊನೆಯುಸಿರು ಎಳೆಯುವಾಗ ಈ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಸಂಧಿಯನ್ನ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಒಂದು ಅವರು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಕೇಳಿಸೋ ಒಂದು ರೂಢಿಯಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಭಾರತೀಶನು ಗಳಿಗೆಯೊಳು ಮುನ್ನೂರ ಅರವತ್ತು ಸಿರು ಜಪಗಳ ತಾರಚಿಸುವನು ಸರ್ವ ಜೀವರೊಳಿದ್ದು ಬೇಸರದೆ ಕಾರುಣಿಕನವರವರ ಸಾಧನ ಪೂರೈಸಿ ಭೂಸ್ವರ್ಗ ನರಕವ ಸೇರಿಸುವ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಸಕಲೇಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರದಾಯಕನು ಇನ್ನ ಇನ್ ಯತಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಕಲ್ಪ ಭದ್ರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಹಂಸ ಮಂತ್ರ the importance of hamsa mantra is uh, is very clearly brought out here so pranadevaro when he sits inside our uh, inside our heart and and for every 24 minutes or one galige he he counts he hamsa om hamsa soham swaha om so he does this about 360 swasha the pass every 24 minutes so if you if you if you uh, do the math that's about 21600 a day or about 334k a week or 650k a month so this is this is the complete uh, direction from vishnu to this is the duty of uh, of why they were to recite hamsa namaka paramatma japa every time it doesn't matter who it is it may um, it may be a vishnu bhakta or it may be a nada vishnu bhakta it doesn't matter as long as he is a jeeva why devro sits in his heart and recites hamsa hamsa mantra that many number of times so what does it what what exactly does it mean is we have to be grateful to why devro for keeping us alive by his reciting hamsa mantra uh, uh, for lord uh, vishnu and we have to pray to both hari hari and vayu here so that they continue to give us strength and energy to continue our path of bhakti because the day why they were stops is hamsa mantra that done we are, we are gone we are not there so we have to keep this in mind that elli vargu as long as why devro is is within he resides within our heart and he is doing the hamsa mantra we are we it is our duty to return back the favor towards bhakti to and pran devro why devro doesn't want us to uh, pray to him uh, because he is already praying to vishnu the path of bhakti for us is from gurugulu from why devro towards lord vishnu so this is the route we have to take and this should always be in our back of our mind datta swatantra sandhi manikava kondangadiyol ajivana kotta purushana samadhana maduva teradi daityaro nityadalli malpa dana yagnadigala pala yajamana tana paharisi asamichina asamichina sukagala kottu asurara mattaranu malpa um i think we're coming right. running out of time but mm-hmm. i'll quickly say one thing about datta satandar sandhi so if everything is controlled by god if everything is predetermined if everything is already set in stone then what is the point of doing all this uh, you know that is the question which arises and the one of the best concepts to understand about the workings of god is through is through a mother you know uh, when a, when uh, when a mother is uh, a, uh, is with her child uh, or uh, when she is expecting from day one when she knows that she is going to become a mother she has plans for that child she every day she thinks about it every day she thinks about what that my child is going to do so when the child is born after a 9 month long wait she has already made plans for him she makes uh, she lets the uh, the child uh, take baby steps she lets him fall she picks him up and then uh, after a while she just lets lets the child do what it should do she is she guides she is in she is in the back looking at what her child does but she doesn't stop the child from getting up and falling because she knows that he has to learn in the same concept the the concept of motherly love and paramatmas love towards the uh, towards jeevas is 
unmistakable. The, there is lot of reasons why mother and God are, are held so close to the heart because Devro has the Satya Sankalpo Eko Varenyo Vasi. It is it is done. He is Satya Sankalpa. Once he does he need not alter any of his sankalpa. Once it's it's done, it is done, it's set in stone. However, he gives us that freedom to make sure that we spend all our energy into bhakti, trying to understand why uh, God has given me uh, this life, why He has given me uh, uh, the ability to understand, approach and study about uh, the greatness of Lord Vishnu. And I go to a Guru, listen to what, he, uh, what Guru says, come back home, make my research and go back to the uh, to my duty of bhakti towards uh, Lord Vishnu. This is exactly what it means by uh, uh, swata, Datta Swatantra. Swatantra is independence. Datta means this is what is given to us by uh, by uh, by Devru so that we can uh, we, we can uh, continue to work towards our bhakti towards the Lord. Okay, we can skip something. Sakala Durita Nivarana Sandhi ಈ ಸಂದಿಯನ್ನ ಯಾರು ಪರಾಯಣ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ದುರಿತಗಳಿವೋ ಸಕಲ ದುರಿತ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೀತಿಯ ತಾಪತ್ರಯಗಳನ್ನ ನಿವಾರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಸಂದಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿ ನಾಮದ ಮಹಿಮೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅದ್ರ ಫಲ ಇದ್ದೇ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿಗಳ ನೆವದಿಂದಲಾಗಲಿ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಗೋಸುಗ ವಾದಡಾಗಲಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟ ರೋಗ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತವಾಗಲಿ ಅಣಕದಿಂದೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಿಟ್ಟು ಸಿರಿ ನಿಮ್ ಬಾಯ್ದೆರೆದು ಹರಿ ವಿಠಲ ಸಲಹೆಂದೆನಲು ಕೈಗೊಟ್ಟು ಪಾವ ಕೃಪಾಳು ಸಂತತ ತನ್ನ ಬಹುತರನು ಸೊ ಯುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಫಾಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಚೈಡ್ ಯು ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅನ್ಬಾರ್ದ ರಾಮ ಅನ್ಬಾರ್ದ so that me what what the point here is it's not that they are trying to downplay your pain of having to fall it is just that by invoking the name of uh, vishnu the uh, your um, your hardship is going to it can only come down so that is again again and again the completely repetitively what is being uh, extolled in uh, harikatha mantra sara is is bhakti bhakti towards vishnu alone ee harikatha mantra sara ke eshtu ondu mahatva ide andre idralli ondu onde ondu sandhi helidru onde ondu tarana helidru ondu akshara helidru ashtru mattige namage adra phala sikke sigutte phala stuti sandhili heltare yara maneyalli pratinitya harikatha mantra sara heltaro keltaro avara maneyalli shri krishna ತಾನು ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕುಣಿದಾಡ್ತಾನಂತೆ ಅದು ಈ ಫಲಸ್ತುತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಒತ್ತಿ ಬಹ ವಿಘ್ನಗಳ ತಡೆದ ಅಪಮೃತ್ಯುವಿಗೆ ಮರೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಾಲನ ಮೃತ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಭೀಕರವ ಪುಟ್ಟಿಸಿ ಸಕಲ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಗಳ ಒತ್ತಿಗೊಳಿಸಿ ವನರು ಹೇಕ್ಷಣ ನೃತ್ಯ ಮಾಡುವ ನವನ ಮನೆಯೊಳು ನಿತ್ಯ ಮಂಗಳ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಪಠಿಸುವವರ ಕುರುಡ ಕಂಗಳ ಪಡೆವ ಬದರನಿಗೆರಡು ಕಿವಿ ಕೇಳ್ಪು ಬೆಳೆಯದ ಮುರುಡ ಮದನಾಕೃತಿಯ ತಾಳ್ಪನು ಕೇಳ್ದ ಮಾತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಡು ಹೈನಾಗುವುದು ಕೇಳ್ದರೆ ಕೊರಡು ಪಲ್ಲವಿಸುವುದು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಜೀವನ ಅಮತ ಅಮರತ ರಂಗಿಣಿಯ ನೈದಿದರು ಫಲವೇನು ಎಂತ ಒಂದು ಕೆಟ್ಟ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಇರಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಅನಾರೋಗ್ಯಗಳಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಕೂಡ ಈ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಶ್ರವಣದಿಂದ ಅದರ ಫಲವಿದೆ ಸತಿಯರಿಗೆ ಪತಿ ಬಕುತಿ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರ ವಾಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಹರಿಕಥಾ ಅಂತ ಸರ ವಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಾಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ರಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ Uh, every day ganesha used to come in his dream because he thought okay next chapter he is going to write about me next chapter he is going to write about and when he came to the 21st uh, chapter he thought ganesha 
that okay this is this is this is it 21 is my number so he is going to write so but 21st was not about uh, Vigneshwara it was not about Lord Ganesha so he, he continued but when he approached the 25th uh, uh, chapter he just simply could not write there were some sort of uh, Vigna coming to Dasarayaru he just could not complete it so in the 20 in the 28th uh, canto he wrote exclusively about uh, Vigneshwara so for most of um, for whenever you start work or whenever you uh, you intend to do anything new just try to uh, recite one or two stanzas from Vigneshwara Stotra Sandhi because the worshipping of Lord Ganesha is um, Krishna as even said in Gita Yasmin Pujete he, he tells Dharmaraja Dharmaraja is worried uh, if I fight do you think I will get uh, uh, get Astinavati back so Krishna says Yasmin Pujete Rajan Dhruvam Rajan uh, Avatsyati so he says that have no doubt Ganesha Puja Mad Horudu all Vignas will uh, will disappear so this was one of the interesting facts about uh, Jagannathasra while he was writing Harikatha Amsara Mahu Koda Samiya Itonta Vigneshara Sandhi Bittbutta Mandota De Matte Ganesha Nastuti Maade Bittini Nitya Mangala Charita Jagadut Patti Stitilaya Niyama Nagna Natraya Prada Bandha Mochaka Sumana Sasurara Chitta Urtigalante Nadava Pramatta Nalla Surugna Naptane Nitya Dali Nene Nene Du Sukisuva Bhagya Karone Pudu Matte Palastuti Sandhi Gevande Sati Arige Pati Bakuti Patni Vrata Purusharige Harusha Nelegondati Mano Haravagi Guru Hiri Arige Jagadolage Satata Mangala Viva Bahu Sukrutigala Miva Sulabadim Sadgatiya Padevaru Harikatambrata Saravanu Patiste Yara Yaru I Harikatambrata Saravana Adara Purakavagi Keletare Heletare Our Ellari Gukuda Sri Bharati Ramana Mukhantar Gata Sri Lakshmi Narsima Parama Mangalavana Untu Martanenta Dasar Hedidare Ivandu Avakasha Koda Malka Namma Bayali Koda Vanderadu Harikatamata Sara and Budigalana Adisida Sri Guru Raja Seva Samitya Yella Padadi Karigalavu Namma Hurpurvaka Namaskarva. Ivatu uh Navu Matadi Dreli Inadru Tapidra Dala Namdu in the old day, another mother did re, other than Bharti Ramana Mukha Prana and Targata, Lakshmi Narayanange, a serial in the Vistad. It's not Panamasta. So, um, Srini and Srini, thank you very much for, um, you know, for, for talking about Harikata and Bhutasara. Um, you know, honestly, for me, I have heard of it. My mother has told me about it, but I didn't know anything about what Arigata Amritasara was. So thank you for enlightening me, uh, you know, about what it is, and also talking about you know the importance of bhakti and always thinking about Hari, um, you know, in in everything that we do, uh, in every second of our life. So thank you very much for for the information. Thank you. Yeah, uh, same here, uh, same, same sentiment, three uh, sentiment here, three, uh, three many, you guys were awesome. Uh, I know it is, uh, uh, it's amazing, you guys coordinated, uh, uh, presented, that was also great. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Anybody has uh, anything else? Uh,